the National Youth Authority is urging young people to take advantage of opportunities available on the internet to make life meaningful for themselves. Speaking at a summit organized by the Ghana National Union of Technical Students, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer in charge of programs and operations at the NYA, Nelson also underscored the role of technology and technical education in reducing unemployment in Ghana. There's more in the following report. The Ghana National Union of Technical Students is an association consisting of all 10 technical universities across the country. The core mandate of the union is to provide leadership assistance and training aimed at promoting technical and vocational education in Ghana. Speaking at a summit organized by the union, the deputy chief executive officer in charge of programs and operations at the National Youth Authority, Nelson Ousuansa, indicated technical education is the way forward toward ending unemployment in the country. And so these are things that we need to begin to talk about so that young people who are interested or do not even know the, the potential that this sector presents would take advantage of that and then begin to look in that direction because that is one of the surest way that we can use to reduce the unemployment in this country because the products from technical education they got out of school and they are not knocking on doors looking for job they can create their own job that is why all over the place even within the informal sector you have the the, the seamstresses and the masons and the carpenters working for themselves they are not knocking on doors why should we not look in that direction, but always focusing and focusing on grammar-based education? It is not the case that grammar-based is not good, but we're saying that we need to begin to create parity in the educational sector. We need to begin to create importance within the TV sector. We need to begin to highlight the importance of some of these uh, technical areas that the world over, they are looking for skilled labor in. And I think that if we are able to do that, that is the way to go. Young people will now be out of the doldrums of unemployment and all the talk. He further urged the youth to take advantage of opportunities available on the internet to better their lives instead of relying on others for employment. If you ask 10 young people today what their challenge in life is, I'm sure many of them will be pointing to the fact that they need jobs. And I said that there are many, many, many jobs that are available uh, that we need to begin to explore. One of which is the virtual working spaces that are now becoming the order of the day globally. There are many uh, virtual working platforms and spaces that have been created that many of these young people may not know or even if they know, they have not taken advantage of. We need to begin to encourage them that you don't need to begin to be holding just your, your application letters, your CVs, moving from office to office looking for job. You can be at the corner of your home, be doing jobs and be earning hard currencies without moving a step. The summit, which was on the theme, empowering the workforce for the future, the need to prioritize technical and vocational education for national development brought together student leadership from all 10 technical universities to deliberate on how to promote technical education. Edria Jonah is the national president of the union. So automatically, it explains itself, which is technicality. So automatically, anybody coming from the technical background has a skills, which I don't think needs to be employed before getting money or getting a job. Because myself, I'm an example. I'm an electrical and electronics engineering student, and the whole building here, I can wire it from head to toe, and I can read architectural uh, diagrams, building plans, everything. So I don't think me going in for a traditional university reading courses, which I know about the thing but cannot do it practically, I don't think I'll go in for a traditional university, rather go in for a technical university to be able to equip myself and be able to employ myself. Prince Kwame Kudugas reports read to you.